Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another hurricane season countdown video. So we are now 39 days away from the official start of the hurricane season, which is of course the 1st of June. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at what is currently going on across the Caribbean. There is quite some inclement weather activity in the vicinity of Trinidad. So we'll be taking a look at all that is happening there, as well as one of the factors that helps to influence activity during the hurricane season so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay so let's go ahead and get on with it and as we return to this satellite imagery here we can definitely see that there is quite a bit of activity down in portions of northeastern south america and also for the southeastern caribbean and then as we go ahead and take a look at the rest of the region though uh looking at the northeastern caribbean we can see a bit of cloud cover but not seeing all of those colors to indicate any convective activity so most likely some overcast conditions for the most easterly side of the, uh, the dominican republic and also over into uh puerto rico and the virgin islands looking over to haiti jamaica cuba the cayman islands not seeing much activity at all going over to the yucatan same story for the most part and also belize we see a bit of activity down in the vicinity of el salvador uh honduras and nicaragua but that is slowly dissipating and uh overall for the region there isn't too much happening maybe a bit of cloud cover down in the abc islands but then uh taking a closer look at that area we can see all of this shower and thunderstorm activity take a look at that when we have these maps being so colorful that indicates quite a bit of convective activity taking place and so this is going to be inducing quite a bit of rainfall for the region as we head throughout today also for Grenada uh, the Grenadines and even going a bit more north into the Windward Islands and so guys if you're there please take all necessary precautions and stay safe when required because uh, once there's going to be consistent heavy rainfall there is going to be that risk of possible flooding guys so please take all the necessary her precautions and stay safe and then now we want to move on to what the euro model is expecting in terms of the rainfall and so of course there we have the different colors uh to show how much rainfall the area is expecting so there is the key over to the right side of your screen and we can see that as we go more to those shades of reds and burgundy than purple that is increasing totals that are expected here and uh, a lot of this is confided to trinidad and tobago as well as the northeastern part of south america even extending into the windward islands as i said earlier and uh, this goes out to this afternoon by the way so quite a bit of rainfall expected for the next couple of hours guys and so uh, we're seeing here that for the rest of the region there isn't much rainfall that is likely as we're going to be heading into this afternoon maybe just some brief showers here and there i'd say there's a better chance for puerto rico again we saw that little patch of cloudiness within the region so that could induce a little bit more rainfall but as for most other areas it should be a very beautiful sunday and so uh, now in terms of the rainfall in the southeastern Caribbean, now that is induced by what is called the itch, the intertropical convergence zone. And so this is something that is one of the influences of tropical cyclone activity during the hurricane season. So uh, it is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And when they do at the equator, remember that the equator receives direct rays of the sun. So it's pretty warm there. And uh, all of that warmth and moisture is going to be resulting in those uh, winds warming as well so warm air as we know it rises so once it is going to be elevated in the atmosphere it gets cooler up there so we're going to have condensation taking place and then eventually precipitation and uh, that is why sometimes you look at a map and you might see this band of showers and thunderstorms around the globe that is the itch right there however the position changes uh, as we go throughout the year so in July that is a typical position of it as a result there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activities because it's the summer months when things get warmer so that is going to be favoring more thunderstorm development and then those tropical waves propagate along it and as a result they can eventually become tropical cyclones but only a small amount of tropical waves actually become cyclones each year so uh, as for this hurricane season of course this isn't the only 
thing that is going to be the factor that determines whether or not we're going to be seeing a lot of activity. There's also the sea surface temperatures, the wind shear, and in terms of where tropical cyclones eventually go, the Bermuda High plays a very big role in that. So those are multiple factors that I'm going to be discussing in future update videos, guys. But uh, in terms of the ENSO right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the current value and we can see that the latest is 0.195. So it remains above that zero line. So temperatures over in the equatorial Pacific are warmer than normal. It might seem as though it's not very warm, but trust me, this little variation and temperature uh, plays a very huge role in what is to happen next and so once it crosses that 0.5 line that is when we're going to be in El Nino conditions and that seems very likely as we're going to be progressing into the latter part of this year but of course only time will tell and as I mentioned in our previous update videos El Nino conditions typically induce less activity over in the Atlantic however less does not mean there will won't be any and sometimes it only takes one tropical storm sometimes even a depression to do quite a bit of damage and so guys that is pretty much it for this update and so guys that is really it for this update i hope you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise.